Hi, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Wyoming Track and Field Wrap Up. Uh, this is Coach Schapker here. And uh, I want to start off by saying I couldn't be more proud of uh, the effort that our athletes put forth this year. Um, this is our first track and field season that we've had in two years. And uh, it was a, a learning experience for a lot of our athletes. As you'll see, we had a, a lot of uh, new and inexperienced uh, team members this year. So without any further ado, let's look at the season by the numbers. First off, we had 63 uh, track and field athletes this year. Uh, 18 junior varsity athletes and 45 varsity athletes. 35 of our varsity athletes received the academic award. Um, 41 of our 63 athletes had never competed at the high school level. We had 44 different athletes score points this year for us. 72% of the girls points and 62% of the boys points were from athletes that had never scored before 2021. We had one school record equal this year. We had five CHL champions. We had one CHL meet record set. We had 18 different athletes named to the all CHL team. Uh, we produced two district champions. We had 16 regional participants and two regional placers this year. So before we look at some of the individual efforts, uh, let's look at the, uh, the season quickly here in review. We started off the year right at the end of March, fresh off of spring break at Elder. Uh, the girls managed a sixth place finish out of eight teams while the boys finished fourth out of 10 teams. Um, we were the only uh, division two team in the meet. The rest of the teams were division one teams. Uh, the following week, we headed out to Madeira. Uh, our girls finished second out of 11 teams, and our boys were also runners up out of 12 teams. Uh, that kept it in the CHL the following week. We went out to the Indian Hill Relays for the first time. Uh, the girls finished seventh out of 11 teams, and the boys were fourth out of 10 teams. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, we entered into that meet um, in conjunction with a JV that meet that same day, and all of our jumpers uh, went out to the JV meet uh, with Coach Nickel. So our, uh, our finish there, seventh out of 11 and fourth out of 10, um, was a pretty good finish when you consider we didn't have any of our jumpers or vultures. The following week, uh, we headed out to uh, Finney Town in the uh, cold and wind there, and the girls finished third out of nine, and uh, the boys were once again runners up out of nine teams. Uh, the following Friday, we headed up to uh, Clinton Massey. Uh, again, we entered uh, just uh, our jumpers and throwers and uh, sprinters, uh, the distance runners, uh, took the night off, and our girls finished fourth out of seven, and the boys finished third out of seven. So again, if you throw in our distance runners there, uh, our finishes are uh, even more respectable. Uh, the following uh, meet was uh, Taylor. Again, we dodged raindrops for the better part of the evening. Uh, the girls finished uh, fifth out of 16 teams and the boys finished third out of 17 teams. Uh, we started off May by heading up to the uh, Blue Heaven Invitational at Hamilton. Again, we were one of two Division II schools participating in the entire meet. Uh, the girls managed an eighth place finish out of 13 teams, while the boys were ninth out of 12 teams. And then we headed to the, uh, the CHL. Uh, again, we were running at Taylor. Uh, the girls finished fourth out of the, uh, the eight CHL teams, while the boys uh, finished third, uh, but not too far out of first. Um, Following week uh, were the district championships. Uh, the girls finished fifth out of 22 teams, uh, while the boys finished third out of 18 teams. Uh, it's worth noting that going into the finals, uh, the boys were in first place. Uh, the boys dominated the field events, and you'll see uh, just where we dominated here in a few minutes. Um, the following week, last weekend, was the, uh, the regional championships. Uh, our girls finished 43rd while the boys finished 39th. So um, some of the individual accolades for this year, all right? First off, our team captains, 
uh, Bryce Shadokati, Ellie Bocher, Peggy Moore, and Joel Allen. Uh, again, can't thank these four athletes enough for their leadership uh, on and off the track. Um, our Junior University uh, Girls Award winners, we had uh, Chloe, Kate, Kaylee, Zola, Sophia, Katie, Ava, and Paige. And our Boys Junior Varsity Award winners were yeah, Eli, Zach, Peter, Owen, Anthony, TJ, Lewis, Christopher, Nicholas, and Mats. So congratulations to all of our uh, Junior Varsity Award winners. Now for our Varsity Award winners, uh, our fourth year Varsity winners were uh, Sylvia Coyle, Mariana Dionisio, Molly Glover, and Peggy Moore. Um, Bryce and Allison were third year award winners and second year award winners were Irene, Lauren, Emma, and Catherine. And our first year varsity winners, Ellie, Franny, Maxine, Chloe, Danielle, Steph, Lauren, Hollis, Destiny, Eva, Meredith, Addie, Zoe and Zoe and Anna. So congratulations to all our girls uh, varsity winners. On the boys, uh, winning uh, fourth year uh, varsity awards were uh, James Edwards, Nate Glisson, Josh Nugent, Ben Parker, and Bo Thomas. Uh, Charles was a third year uh, varsity winner and winning uh, varsity for second year uh, were Yahel, Sam, Joel, Nico, and Gus. And our first year varsity boys uh, letter winners were Max, Ryan, Jack, Sam, Terrence, Wyatt, Jason, Thomas, and Andrew. So again, congratulations to all the boys varsity winners. As we mentioned earlier, we had a, a good number of uh, athletes that uh, won the academic award. And for the girls, we had Ellie, Celia, Mariana, Molly, Franny, Peggy, Irene, Bryce, Allison, Maxine, Emma, Danielle, and Catherine. Boys, acad I'm sorry, additional girls winning the academic award. Uh, from the freshman and sophomore class, Lauren Feller, Hollis, Lauren Hudipole, Eva, Meredith, Addie, Zoe Mayberry, and Anna. So congratulations to the girls academic award winners. For the boys academic award winners were Max, Yahel, Nate, Josh, Ben, Sam, Nico, Jack, Sam, Wyatt, Ryan, Jason, Thomas, and Andrew. So congratulations to the boys academic award winners. So I mentioned earlier, we had five CHL champions. Uh, our CHL champions were uh, for the girls, Addie Hamilton, freshman in the pole vault. Uh, for the boys, uh, sophomore Joel Allen in the shot put senior Yahel Slonum in the long jump, senior Charles Pickett in the pole vault, and senior Nate Glisson in the boys 100 meter dash. So Wyoming had uh, 18 different athletes named all CHL. And let's meet them now. Uh, all CHL first team for the girls was Addie Hamilton. Uh, again, Addie uh, won the pole vault in uh, eight foot six, which equaled the, uh, the school record, uh, a feat she accomplished uh, three different times throughout the season. Joining Addie are second teamers, uh, seniors Sylvia Coyle, Irene Nicholson, and Bryce Shuttlecotty, junior Steph Sorrell, and freshman Zoe Cook and Zoe Mayberry. And 
girls earning honorable mention all CHL were Catherine Shoney, Emma Bergman, Danielle Sabalinaite, and Allison Albanap. So congratulations to our girls all CHL team. For the boys, uh, all CHL first team, sophomore Joel Allen. Uh, Joel was also named Field Athlete of the Year in the CHL. Uh, senior Nate Glisson, senior Yahel Sloan, and senior Charles Pickett. Earning second team all CHL honors for the boys were senior James Edwards, junior Sam Prangley, and sophomore Gus Peacock. So congratulations to the boys all CHL team. We had two district champions, Joel Allen, sophomore in the boys shot put, and Yahel Slonim, senior in the boys long jump. So congratulations to our two district champions this year. And we had 16 different uh, athletes participate at regionals last weekend. For the girls, Addie Hamilton in the pole vault, where she placed seventh. Uh, Irene Nicholson also in the pole vault. Sylvia Coyle in the 3200 and the 4x8. Emma Bergman in the 1600 and the 4x8. Danielle Sabalinaite in the 4x800. Allison Alvinap in the 4x800. Anna Zimmerly in the high jump and 4x100. Steph Sorrell, Zoe Mayberry, and Bryce Shottlecotty also in the 4x100. So congratulations to our girls, regional participants this year. And for the boys, we had Joel Allen in both the shot put and the discus. Joel uh, finished sixth in the discus overall. Yahel Slonim in the long jump in the four by 200 meter relay. James Edwards in the 200 meter dash in the four by two. Uh, Joss Nugent and Sam Prangley also in the four by 200. And Charles Pickett in the pole vault. So congratulations to our boys regional participants. All right, so on our, uh, our points leaderboard, uh, our top five uh, and our overall point leader was uh, Zoe Mayberry, 116 and a half points. Uh, coming in second this year was Sylvia Coyle. Third was Emma Bergman. Irene Nicholson uh, was fourth and rounding out the top five was uh, freshman Addie Hamilton. So, but as you see, we had a, a great number of girls who managed to score points for us this year. So congratulations to all the girls who scored varsity points this year. And for the boys, our points leader was jo sophomore Joel Allen. Joel finished with 155 and a half points. Uh, coming in second was Yahel with 90. Nate had 74. Charles with uh, 67 and three quarters. And rounding out the top five was senior James Edwards. Our top boys uh, distance point score was uh, Nico Araj um, with 37 and a quarter. So again, uh, a great number of boys uh, scoring points for us this year. And as we mentioned earlier, both on the boys and the girls side, uh, so many of the, uh, the points were scored uh, by athletes who had never scored a Bar City point prior to this year. And looking at the, uh, the individual event leaders, uh, starting with the girls field events, in the pole vault, Addie Hamilton led the way with uh, an eight, a vault of eight foot six, which is uh, equal to our school record. Uh, Zoe Mayberry had, was our top long jumper. Our top high jumper was Anna Zimmerly, our regional qualifier in the event. And our top discus thrower was Eva Robles. In the running events, our uh, top time in the 100 and the 200 uh, came from freshman Zoe Mayberry. Top 400 meter runner this year, Peggy Moore. Uh, the top time in the uh, the 800 was Danielle Sabalinaite. 
uh, top time in the 1600, Emma Bergman, top time in the 3200, Sylvia Coyle, uh, our top um, high hurdler, uh, Ellie Bocher, and our top intermediate hurdler was Irene Nicholson. And then our uh, relay leaders, uh, top four by one uh, relay team was uh, Bryce and the two Zoes and Stephanie. Um, the top uh, four by 200 meter relay was Bryce, uh, Zoe, Peggy, and Zoe. The top 1600 meter relay, uh, Danielle, Anna, Mariana, and Peggy. And the top 3200 meter relay was Sylvia, Lauren, Emma, and Danielle. Uh, that was also a, uh, a regional qualifying relay. Our boys leaders, our boys leaders in both the shot put and the discus was Joel Allen. Our top pole vaulter was Charles Pickett. Uh, Yahel was our top long jumper and Terrence was our top high jumper this year. In the individual of, uh, running events, uh, the top time in the 100 meters was turned in by Nate Glisson, uh, a blistering 10.8, which was a CHL meet record. Um, the top 200 meter time was turned in by regional qualifier James Edwards. Top 400 meter dash time was uh, Yahel, Jack Cavanaugh with uh, the top time in the 800 meter run. And Nico had our top time in both the 16 and 3200 meter runs. Uh, top high hurdler and intermediate hurdler was uh, senior Charles Pickett. And then our relays, the top four by one, uh, Bo, Sam, Nate, and Yahel. Uh, top time in the uh, 800 meter relay was Josh, James, Yahel, and Sam. That was a regional qualifying time. Uh, top four by four, uh, James, Ryan, uh, Jason, and Yahel. And the top 3,200 meter relay uh, was turned in by uh, Nico, Max, Thomas, and Jack. And now, for our most valuable performers, uh, for the girls, it was uh, freshman uh, Zoe Mayberry. Uh, Zoe was our top point scorer. Uh, she had our, uh, our best uh, long jump of the year. She had our fastest time in the one and the 200. Uh, she was also on the uh, top uh, four by one and four by 200 uh, meter relay teams. Uh, Zoe was uh, consistently um, in the top of the CHL and the uh, the hundred and the long jump throughout the season, um, and can't wait to see what the future holds for Zoe as a uh, a Wyoming track and field athlete. So congratulations to our girls MVP Zoe Mayberry, and for the boys, our most valuable performer was sophomore Joel Allen. Joel was Mr. Consistency throughout the season. Um, in the shot put and the discus, Joel did not finish out of the top three in any meet this year until the, uh, until the regional meet, uh, usually throwing against guys older than him, oftentimes throwing against division one competition and Joel, uh, continually rose to the challenge, um, and, uh, really was, uh, just, uh, uh, an invaluable, uh, piece to the, uh, the boys' success this year. And again, at just a sophomore, I can't wait to see uh, what the future holds for Joel. Um, more importantly, it's just uh, we're going to be taking bets on uh, when he uh, surpasses uh, Coach King's record in the shot put. So my money's on next year. So uh, congratulations uh, again to Joel Allen, our boys' MVP. And then I, would, I do want to uh, give a uh, special thanks to um, our assistant coaches. Uh, Coach, Coach Nickel, um, can't say enough about the performance of our, uh, our jumpers and vultures this year. Again, I mentioned earlier, we were in the, uh, in the lead in the uh, boys and uh, we were in third of the girls after uh, the field events this year. Um, you know, we, we saw um, Addy, uh, his, his vulture on the girls' side, uh, equal a school record. Uh, Charles was a CHL champion. Um, we had a CHL runner up in the pole vault uh, with Irene Nicholson. Uh, Anna finished third 
in the uh, the high jump at uh, districts. Um, so it was just a, a remarkable performance by our our jumpers and vultures, and uh, it's definitely a, a testament to uh, the uh, the hard work and the uh, the coaching uh, that, uh, that Mr. Nickel provides. And then we got uh, Coach Jim Frondorf. Uh, can't say enough about what a job he does with the uh, distance runners. Uh, he was the uh, cross country coach of the year this year for uh, Division Two, um, and uh, uh, an honor uh, well earned. And uh, it's through a lot of the hard work of the athletes and uh, Coach Frondorf um, that make uh, Wyoming a uh, a model of consistency in the distance events. And then. Um, Emily Gallantine, Coach Emily, uh, juggling coaching uh, with uh, graduating this spring. Uh, just can't say enough about the enthusiasm uh, that Emily brings uh, to the track every day, whether it's a practice or the meet, um, and the uh, the way that she is uh, able to to coach and uh, and relate to to our athletes. And then also, uh, I want to give special thanks to uh, Mr. Chris Allen. Uh, Chris is Joel's dad. Uh, we did not have a, a throws coach this year. And uh, Mr. Allen stepped in and uh, worked with our, our throwers. And uh, again, the results kind of speak for themselves. Uh, when you, you look at uh, the job that, uh, that Joel did this year. So uh, uh, special thank you to uh, Mr. Allen. And then uh, Coach King, uh, again, uh, the buses were there on time every single meet. Um, and uh, again, the enthusiasm that, uh, that uh, Coach King has uh, for track and field and for the, uh, the throwing events, uh, I think goes a long way. Um, in uh, getting the uh, the kids hyped for uh, for the track season, and then um, Mr. Paul Schwartz, uh, Mr. Schwartz came to uh, just about every single meet this year. He was uh, our uh, our historian, I guess you would say, uh, taking pictures, shooting videos, making sure that uh, everything got posted on to uh, our social media accounts and. Uh, he has an enthusiasm for track and field that uh, uh, is unequaled. So again, uh, can't thank uh, Mr. Schwartz enough. And then lastly, thanks to the parents. All right, I know track and field is a, uh, a difficult uh, sport to manage. Um, you know, some of the meets run uh, long. Uh, there are times we don't get back until 9.30, uh, 10 o'clock. Um, so I do realize uh, what a, uh, a time stealer uh, track and field can be. And uh, again, thanks to the parents for your, your patience and understanding. And lastly, thanks to the athletes. This was, um, again, a challenging year, uh, but I can't think of a year where I had uh, more fun coaching track than I did this year. Um, and a lot of that is because of uh, the efforts and the, um, the performance of our athletes. A lot of it has to do with uh, you know, the coaches and a lot of it has to do with the parents making sure that the, uh, the kids uh, are uh, getting what they need to be successful in track. So again, thank you to everyone. Uh, enjoy your summer. I am looking forward to 2022 already. So uh, stay safe out there and we'll see you guys soon.